Well, what's up everyone? I'm Gerology. Welcome back to Rust Tactics video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a little brother I made to Rust Command Center. Now this is Rust Command Center right here. I made some updates to this as well today, this morning. Uh, but you can see that on the Oxide forum post that I'll link uh, in the description below. But today I'm going to be talking about Rust Booster. Because the frame rate section of Rust Command Center was so popular, I decided to go ahead and make a standalone version of that that's smaller, a little more compact, and uh, just shows just those other buttons. So if you don't want to um, have the pleasure of all of the other buttons down here, you don't have to have that. You can just download Rust Booster. So let's talk about this a little bit. So I want you to pay attention to my frames in the upper left hand corner. Notice I'm getting around 75 maxed out there, 76. Now, when I click on semi boost, what this is going to do is it's going to lower some some rendering quality. It's going to lower some. It's going to disable shadows, disable grass. Um, there's quite a few other commands. It's going to run about eight to ten commands. So I'm going to go ahead and run the semi boost. And keep in mind when you do run this, when you do execute a command, when you press a button, let the, let the application run its course. Let it do its thing. Don't click your mouse, don't type anything on your keyboard because it needs your keyboard and because it uses auto hotkey to execute these commands and write them for you. That's basically how it works. Now, I went from 78 frames all the way up to 98 frames. Now that's 20 frames right off the bat. Boom. Pretty freaking awesome. That's amazing. So I'm getting, I'm spiking out at 101 there. So the reason why I'm standing in one spot and not moving is so we can get a nice um, idea of one spot uh, frame rate. Let's go ahead and click on max boost. Again, let it run its course. Don't click, don't type. And there you go. It's going to skip those because it already did those ones now. So I went from 98 frames to 115 maxed out. So that's what? Another almost 20 more frames. 98. No, it's about 12, 13 frames. Anyways, I'm not that great at math, as you can see. But the tool works works wonders. I mean, it's, it's amazing. You know, you can do all these. Of course, you can punch these all in by hand. But this handy little tool here makes it so you don't have to do that. And what's best about this application is it doesn't forget the commands. You don't have to store them. You don't have to copy and paste. You just press a button and it does it. Now, if you want to just turn grass on, you can do that very easily by just pressing grass on. And there's the grass. It turned the grass back on. And notice my frames dropped by about 10 frames. That's how, that's how much your frames will raise or lower if you disable or enable grass. A good 10 frames. Now, that really depends on the computer you have as well. Now, if you're like, oh, man, I don't like that. I want my, my settings back at default. So you can go ahead and do that. Just click on default, and it will go ahead and execute all the commands that are default commands when you first buy and install Rust. But your frame's going to drop all the way back down to where they were when you started, and that's where we're at right now. Looks beautiful. The rocks look a lot better. Grass looks cool. Graphics look a lot, a lot better, but you are going to drop frames. And since I have a pretty beastie computer, 70 frames, I can play with that. I can play with that. But when, when servers get to be where there's a lot of buildings and see how I look at this building, it has so many, it has so many <laughs> objects to render because of all the pillars. I dropped down to 38, 39, 40 frames. So that's pretty, pretty insane. Now, since I'm looking at this building, I can hear my, my processor fan just kicked in. Boom. It, it doesn't like that. So I'm going to go ahead and max boost. See where that brings us. Probably won't raise me a ton, maybe 20 frames, but that's good. That's good enough for me. So we went to 40. Yeah, like I said, about 42 to 65. That's 23, 24 frames. That's pretty good. That's enough for me to play smooth and look at look at buildings without, you know, my computer taking a crap on me. That's pretty good. Now, if I look over here where there's nothing to render up in the sky, yeah, I'm going to get that 140, 130 frames per second because there's nothing to render up there. 
All right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, I'm Gerology. If you did like the video, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Hey, give me suggestions. I'm open to suggestions all the time. Be sure to keep an eye on the, uh, the Oxide uh, section on that website, on the Oxide website, because that's where I'll be, be releasing the updates for this uh, application. And uh, hey, you guys do like it and you do watch my videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, have fun playing Rust and happy surviving.